Tuesday, I watch the Tasty Tuesday show, it's Tuesday, I try to miss it, but Tasty, sometimes it works. So it's September now, cheers. Two things I really like about September. One is that my favorite seasonal beer, Oktoberfest from Sam Adams comes out. Not sponsored, hashtag no ad, hashtag just really like it. The second thing I really like about September is it's the start of NFL football season, which I think the first game happens this Thursday coming up. So I thought, what goes well with both of these things? Nachos. Also, I think that nachos goes well just with life in general. However, whenever you bring nachos to a party, which is probably where we're gonna be when the first game happens, there's always someone that takes like the one chip that has all the cheese on it and all the toppings and it just kind of is a bummer for everybody else. So I thought we'd do some nacho cups. I've also been doing other types of foods into cupcakes lately because that just makes me giggle. We did pizza cupcakes last week and we did enchilada cupcakes the week before and they've been awesome. So I'm really hoping that these will be just as awesome. Having your own little serving of nachos all to yourself and, and you can just pick it up with your hands and you don't need a fork. That's freedom. America baby. Is it gonna be tasty? Is it gonna be good? I don't know. Let's make this dish. Come on, lighting. So in my head, this recipe seems like it should be the easiest thing of all time. So to make it a little bit more complicated, because here on Tasty Tuesday, we like to overcomplicate everything, I thought we'd try making our own refried beans instead of getting them out of the can. I have canned refried beans, but I hate easy work. Step one, we're gonna take some oil. The recipe says canola oil. I don't have that. So if this gets fucked up, it's my fault. Two tablespoons in there. I feel like I put way more tablespoons than that. That's okay. We're gonna heat this on medium heat. Get out of here. I think our oil's heated now. I'm just gonna do the next step. I really can't tell. Next, we're gonna add two garlic cloves to the oil. Just, you know, put them in there. Get racked, garlic. We're gonna let these roast for like four to five minutes till they get browned on each side. Oh, I think now the oil's hot. Get a tan. Why is it so dark? You're gonna mash it with a fork. I feel like I'm gonna get burned. Hi, you don't like me, I don't like you. Let's get this over with. Ah, I feel like mincing it would have been easier. I'm turning the heat down. Holy shit. These aren't even mashing, they're just getting more and more burnt. Ah, oh, this is a disaster. Why do I even retry beans? Oh, everything is burning. Stop, drawer. Hey, calm down. It's like all smoky in here. Okay, now we're gonna, we're gonna add two cans of pinto beans to this. Like, stop cooking, stop. Okay, this garlic is really, really burnt. I'm just gonna start over with some minced garlic. This, you, I don't like you. Look at this. I don't like you. Goodbye. Like, why? I'm trying to make some gourmet freaking refried beans. This is not working for me. Tasty Tuesday. I'm gonna use a different type of pot. I think I'm gonna blame the pot. I don't know how to use the stainless steel pots. They get way too hot. We're gonna try this again. That was just a tutorial on how to get your kitchen to smell like the devil's asshole. You're welcome for that. Now we're gonna actually brown some garlic. So we're gonna take two garlic cloves again. We're gonna mince them, because whatever we just did did not work. We're gonna heat our oil on medium heat, and we're gonna mince our garlic before we put it in the pot. No mashing with a fork. No forking it up. Okay, that went much faster. Once your garlic is Cleveland browns, we're gonna add our pinto beans. We're gonna actually add pinto beans. Two cans of pinto beans. Get in there. Oh my god. Cooking is not for the weak. We're also gonna add a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of chili powder and some salt to taste. Can you see that? It's salt. I don't care if you can see it, just trust me. I like a lot of salt. And we're just gonna let this cook through for like four or five minutes, you know, until your kitchen is absolutely filled to the brim with smoke and you have trouble breathing. Once your beans are thoroughly heated, you're gonna take them off the heat and you're just gonna mash them. You know, fuck it up. I'm using a potato masher, but you could use a spoon. They're actually pretty easy to mash up. Oh, you thought I said refried beans? No, I said we tried beans. That's what these are. Refried bean life. Life hack, spy can. Whenever you're in doubt, spy can. I can't tell if I like these or not. They're definitely kind of dry. My pizza dough was trying to dry last week too and it worked out, so you know, you never know. Nobody knows anything in life. Lastly, we're just gonna squeeze half of a lime over the top of our wheat dried beans. Maybe this will make them less dry. All right, cool, we're just gonna leave it alone now. It's the best we could do. And you know what, that's okay, that's all right. Next, we're gonna preheat our oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. What's wrong with you? Thank you. Why is everything giving me trouble? I told you, recipe is super easy so far. The rest of this recipe, hopefully, is 
a piece of cake city. But I don't want to jinx anything anymore. So we're gonna make the cups part of our nacho cups. To do this, I, it hopefully it works, I don't know, but I feel like this might work. That's about all I could ever give you on any Taste of Tuesday episode. I feel like it could work, it might work. Other people could probably guarantee you that it would work. Anyway, to make our cups, we're gonna use some tortilla chips. We're gonna kind of like use one chip or some chips to cover the bottom of this cup. We're gonna push and figure it out. This recipe is so fun, just wanna have a good time. Have a good time. My other idea was to just use those scoop chips and like put them in the mini cupcake pan But I was like nah, it's too easy. I want a hard life Yeah. Now that our nacho cups have been filled with chips Which by the way the more this recipe goes on the less faith I have in it But that's okay if you never try then you'll never know and you'll also never fail and never get hurt and never be in pain So I don't know which is the better way to go, but we're gonna continue We're gonna take each of our little nacho cups and we're gonna fill them with cheese not fill them We're gonna like sprinkle some cheese along the bottom. I'm using these Daya dairy-free cheddar. Um, Steve does not like dairy-free cheese, so I'm gonna use regulars on his. Use whatever cheese you want. This is my life. Nachos. Sorry, that joke was cheesy. Or not cheesy, depending on how you feel about non-dairy cheese. And I would say, like, be very generous with this cheese because we're gonna need these chips to stick. Next, we're gonna take our refried, re retried beans. We're gonna take our beans and we're gonna put them in each of the cup on top of the cheese. Are my sentences even making sense anymore? I don't know. This is what happens when you're failing. After your beans are put down, we're gonna put more cheese to save it. I mean, frankly just to save it. Do anything you can to save this. Okay, and here is what our little nacho cups look like before they go in the oven. We're gonna pop them in the oven for nine to 11 minutes. Those were just really random numbers. I don't know, something around there. Check on it at 10 minutes. There we go. Basically just want the cheese to be super melty. Oh boy. Maybe get your friends like kind of drunk before they try this. See you in 10. Our nacho cups are ready. Wow! They look like nachos. They're like lightly brown. The beans are very dried now. These look like they might work. Maybe they work. Maybe you never make this again. We'll find out. So while those were in the oven, I made some guacamole, which I have done a Tasty Tuesday video on before. You can check it out. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to watch it. Super easy way of making guacamole. I also think I make the best guacamole, but I'm a little biased. If anyone makes better guacamole than than me, I avocado don't know them. So, okay, we don't want these to get too cooled off because we want the cheese to be all melty and delicious. So we're gonna add our toppings to each of these. You could add whatever toppings you would normally add to nachos. Surprise! So I'm adding guacamole. We got some olives, we got some sour cream. Steve likes jalapenos, like pickled jalapeno peppers. I don't, but I'll put them on his. What I like about the pizza cupcakes and the enchilada cupcakes and, and these nacho cups is you can customize it to be whatever food you want inside of it. So that's kind of cool. And ta-da! They look amazing, actually. These look really, really good. Do they taste good? I don't know, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out real fast. Let's see if they're tasty. Bum, 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 bum. They look really good, don't they? You know what I was thinking? That you could also, like, if you were making these for your kids or you for your party guests, you could have people just, like, put their own toppings on so they choose what they get to put on their nachos. You know, because sometimes with nachos, people just put weird shit on them and you're like, get these out of my nachos. But it's, like, communal nachos, but these are individual. Anyway, let's see if these are tasty. Bum. I probably should have tested this before we got started, but look at they kept, they held their shape. They totally work as cups. I was scared about that. The smaller ones were easier to remove than the bigger ones. Some of them are kind of stuck. So just like be careful to like make them smaller. Anyway, my brother's here too. Hi. Hey. I'm He's sure. my brother too. Yeah. So, okay. All right, cool. You want points or something? What do you want? I just wanted acknowledgement, general acknowledgement. I, like, I acknowledge you, dude. Thank you, brother. Mm -hmm. That's sweet. In many ways, he's the brother I never had. That is true. He's your most ethnic brother. <laughs> my most ethnic one. I needed one. You've you know? never had one. I, never, I needed one. Yeah. <laughs> I always wish I had a brother too. We got some <laughs> nacho cups here today. I thought these would make a good party treat. Okay. But here's, cheers to the wide bites, dude. <laughs> Well, you can like pick them out like chips and stuff like nachos. I'm pretty good. Oh, damn, huh? son. That's good? 
I like it. That's yeah. fucking great. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, I really like that. Yeah? Yeah, I really like cool. it. Cool. I like it because you know everything you want and then like in a bite of nachos? Yeah, yeah. And, and you get all of that and like you're good, you know? That was my intention. Oh my God, I'm so glad it worked. So I am a genius. I'm not a failure today. Yeah. Today. You know what it is? It's seven layer dip on a chip. Mm. There you go. Which is basically nachos are seven layer dip spread out on a plate. You know, I had not heard that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so wow. I'm going with what I said. The idea was that when you eat nachos with a group of people, two people get the really good bites and then everyone else just gets plain chips. So this way, the wealth is spread out. Anyway, looks like it was tasty. Oh, good. Hell yeah. Good. Hell yeah. See, it's Very worth tough. trying. It's worth trying new things that scare you and make you feel really bad along the process of it because in the end, sometimes you get a really tasty nacho cup and everyone likes you. Oh, bomb. That's bomb. That tastes like nachos. You're a bragger. <laughs> oh, tastes like nachos. You're a bragger. No, I'm not. I yeah, really, you are. I really thought these were gonna fail. Really? If you watched earlier footage, you would know that. Why? 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 Really? What was Holy the big shit. failure? You think? The beans. Oh. I cooked my own refried beans. They were not fun. Buy them from a can. Don't make them. Don't ever make them. Don't make them. You made them. These are good though. Oh my Wait, god. You made the refried beans? I did. That's pretty cool. I've never heard of that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> We're fucking trash. Have you, dude? I've never. Heard never, of right? Trash. It's always open a can, right? I've never heard of people frying beans either. Yeah, same, dude. Trash people. Whatever. Trash people. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right. Well, subscribe so you don't miss any of this. And yes, they were tasty. I'm so happy. Oh, you're such a bragger now. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to make party food for our football parties. You're on a hot streak, and you're now you're a bragger. I'm not bragging. I really hate myself a lot. What do you want? <laughs> That's all I wanted to hear. Okay. Love you, baby. I love you too. Bye.